It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. It's Friday, fool! Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. This week's tool is brought to you by Eastwood. Do the job right. That's not like commercial. No, seriously, Eastwood sent me these tools so I could feature them for you guys. Not paid, it's not a paid endorsement. I wish it was. If you're not familiar with Eastwood, Eastwood basically sells tools and supplies for the automotive industry. Anything you could possibly imagine just about for the automotive industry. If you're into cars, you need to be over on Eastwood. At least check them out. Welders, bead blasters, powder coaters, paint, tools, English wheels, bead bags. It doesn't matter what it is, they pretty much got it. You need hammers and dollies? How about stuff that dissolves rust? They got it. Anyway, as much as I'd love to tell you about everything they've got, they didn't send me everything they've got. Am I scaring you? They did, however, send me these gloves, which are actually pretty awesome. They're uh, orange nitrile, nitrile, nitrile. They're orange gloves that uh, fit very well, actually textured for your grip. They feel pretty good. They're not like your standard medical gloves that are all dusty on the inside. These are actually made for working on automobiles. Good stuff. Anyway, that's not the tool. This week's tool is called the Pneumatic Perfect Panel Tool. Perfect Panel Tool. There she be. So this tool is basically air over hydraulic, I believe. It's got hydraulic fluid in it. It's a two-part tool. So on this end, it basically will bend a 45 degree angle on a piece of sheet metal. And on this end, it punches holes in sheet metal. Now you ask, what good is that? Well, I'm about to show you. So anytime you're needing to weld sheet metal together, say you're gonna replace a panel on your car, a rear quarter panel. A lot of times you have to cut it out, put a new piece in there. Sheet metal, you have to weld back together. The sheet metal itself is really thin. You just take the sheet metal and butt weld it like it is. Your weld is gonna sit on top of the sheet metal. You're gonna have to grind that off. When you grind that off, guess what? You just ground off all your strength. There's no more strength really left in that weld. Chances are you probably didn't get full penetration, so you just ground off all your weld. The sheet metal there is not as thick as it was originally. You just barely got any kind of material hanging on. And so this tool is made to fix that problem. The way it does that is you take this and it basically bends a 45 degree angle on each panel. So if this is a panel, this is a panel, it basically bends a little 45 on each panel. Now you have a valley to weld in. Okay, you place your spot welds in there, your tack welds, whatever it is, you place them in that valley, and you've built up a stronger base that once you grind off the top, you still have weld underneath. It even says it right there. With strong flush weld, raised weld bead. So you see when I squeeze the trigger, the thing just actuates down. I've already done this piece. And it's a very, very small 45 degree angle. It's on the, it's not even 45, I don't think. It's, it's just a little bit of an angle on the end of this piece of sheet metal, okay? Basically what I've done is I've just slid this in here and then kind of worked my way down this panel. Got one here that I haven't done yet. Slide it in there. Now, the two panels with their angles, once you put them together, they're gonna allow you to weld that panel nice and strong. Even after you grind off the top, with no issues. 
The other thing it does is it pops little tiny holes in this sheet metal. So this side actually bevels it, and this side has a punch. So you can stick the sheet metal in there, actuate it, there you go, you got a little hole. Another hole, another hole, another hole, another hole. Now what this is for, is for simulating spot welds. So from the factory, you have spot welds. If you're replacing an entire panel, you're gonna drill out your factory spot welds. You're gonna grind those flush. You insert your new panel. Before you insert that panel though, you punch holes in it. Insert the panel. And then what it does is when you overlay that panel with the existing panel that's from the factory, you're gonna have this look here. You basically fill all these holes with weld. That's your spot weld, your spot weld. Grind to flush, good to go. Or at least that's what I think you do with it. Where's the instructions at? Yeah, that's what it does. This tool will weld prep uh, 18 to 22 gauge sheet metal on this side, and it'll punch uh, 16 gauge, up to 16 gauge on this side. The pneumatic perfect panel prep tool. There you go. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, what do you do if you don't have air? Well, I've got you covered there too. Because they basically make the same exact panel prep tool in a manual version. So the tip of this thing has the exact same die setup that that tool has, except for this one, you just manually do it by hand. Stronger butt welds, less grinding, what more could you ask for? All right guys, that's it. The perfect panel prep tool from Eastwood. As I always do, I will drop some links in the description of all these tools. Go check them out, see if it's something you might be interested in. If it's not, maybe you'll find something else you like on their site. It's Friday, fool!